Flamenco is much more than a study of dance and music. It really is a study of culture and social issues. The gypsies were not accepted in any country, so it became a voice for people that had no voice. Flamenco is a way of life. I started studying flamenco with my mother in her beautiful studio here in Albuquerque, and I loved it. I loved all of it. It's unusual in the United States for there to be flamenco families. I mean, we're one of the few. I came from a wonderful family. My mother and father were wonderful people. But, you know, as many families, it was complicated, it was difficult at times. Um, and flamenco became my anchor. I started studying at the University of New Mexico as an undergraduate student and had been there for three years when they asked me to start teaching flamenco there. Well, they wanted to know more about flamenco. The musicians have to completely understand the baile, the dance, and the dancers have to completely understand the music. I stopped my degree in dance because at that time you could not get a degree in the program that you were teaching in. And I didn't want to stop teaching because I didn't want to lose the momentum that I had started to build. I decided, okay, well, I won't continue with the degree but I will continue to teach. Having the opportunity to teach at the university, I felt that it was my responsibility to then take that as far as I could possibly take it. I started Festival Flamenco in 1987. It has grown in scope tremendously. One of the flamenco historians, they call them flamencologists, when he came here to see what we were doing, he said, this isn't a flamenco movement, it's a flamenco revolution. The experience of performing is immediate. What we take in a performance, we take right there. On the other hand, the experience of teaching the flamenco dynamic is much more long-term. It's a process of taking a student and walking them through a journey. It's, it's completely impossible to summarize because it's been really my entire life. When you're dancing, it's just yourself, your physical self. And so you spend so much time learning about yourself. My grandmother really guided that, really gently starting when I was three, four years old. So I'm leaving you in excellent hands and go for it. Everything I know has come from that. It isn't our goal to make it look easy. We want to see the effort. We want to express the intensity that it takes 
to make the art form happen. With as much intention and joy as ever. That makes me happy. Through a language I have lived with throughout my life, I have this treasure to be able to share with people. And I want to do it as long as I can. <laughs>